Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. The Brickyard is a track with a lot of history, and it's seen plenty of great racing over the years, hasn't it, Barney? This track's tradition alone is what inspires the drivers to do well here. What a great feeling it must be to stand in victory lane at Indy. We'll see here shortly who that lucky man is going to be. McMurray moved up to Winston Cup after having an impressive year in the Bush Series in 2002. He picked up a couple of wins and finished six in the points last year, plus he did an admirable job filling in for Sterling Marlin in some cup runs. The 83 car has a solid top ten spot in the standing so far. He's been working hard this season and it is paying off so far. He'll need a good finish in this one to gain some spots. Jack Sprague is having some trouble in the points this year. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year, it's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. So welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 for the PlayStation 2. 21st race of the season, the Brickyard from here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I start mid-pack, but I'll try to work my way up to the field so I can get a good finish, maybe get my third win of the season. And first... And here's the starting lineup. In the front row are the Altel Dodge and the Pfizer Ford. In the second row are the 8 car and the low Chevrolet. Starting the race from row 3 are the Home Depot Chevrolet and the 38 car. Bobby Labonte leading the points race will start from the 8th place. Rounding out the top 10 starting spots are the Pont Chevrolet and the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. The sixth row has the Tide Pontiac and the Sitco Ford. In row seven are the UPS Ford and the two car. Starting the race from row eight are the Valvoline Pontiac and the Stacker Two Dodge. And in row nine are the Sterling Marlin Dodge and the DeWalt Power Tools Ford. Starting in row 10 will be the Haviland Dodge and the Motorcraft Ford. In row 11 are the Dodge Leaders UAW Dodge and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. In row 12 are the 4 car and the 83 car. Row 13 finds the Dodge Leaders UAW Dodge and the America Online Chevrolet. The 14th row has the Caterpillar Dodge and the 57 car. In row 15 are the Georgia Pacific Dodge and the Zero car. Starting the race from row 16 are the David Green Pontiac and the Pinswell Chevrolet. Row 17 has the O2 car and the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. Starting in row 18 will be the Target Dodge and the Odoban Ford. In row 19 are the Kellogg Chevrolet and the Cheerios Dodge. In row 20 are the Hooters Ford and the Granger Ford. Back in row 21 we have the 01 car and the Singular Wireless Chevrolet. Rounding out the field is the 49 car. Well, crap, I don't have the transition on uh, manual. I forgot. 
took some time to try to get this race before I get this race started and recording, but I forgot about that. Oh my god. Alright, dropped seven spots in the first two turns. Excellent. Well, at least I can say assists are still off because I had to. It wasn't like somehow great when I'm going that back straight if I go out in certain speed. It's really stupid. Oh my goodness! I can't drive. I can't drive to be on this track right now. This is terrible. Thirty-six. I, I I suck at. I suck at these like like some sort of flat track sometimes. There are some tracks where I just really suck at. Some tracks where I've had some bad luck at in this game, and there's some, some that it's like no. There's been some tracks by Let It Get Away. Who blew up already? Before Mike Skinner. Already on lap two, we have a blown engine. I wonder if I have any more blown engines in the race. I kind of doubt it. Sometimes I wish it was by the line of the engine. Contact! I wonder who, which two, which two drivers made contact, though. Sometimes I wish it was by the line blew up blew the engine because he's got a huge point, so he can afford to do that. Sometimes, but he, he just he just knows how to take care of his car apparently. So, I mean, so apparently, a championship is kind of screwed for me. Whoa, 60 car hit the wall. But probably moved that groove a little too much. Now that I have a wheel, though, I can kind of work it, but not really. Okay, I've still got a car on my inside, and that's not going to help at all. Thank you, uh, Stan Barrett. And I missed the breaking point because I was time to thank you. And there you go. You're welcome. So I'm thank you and you're welcome. That's interesting. I'm still kind of pissed off about that Pokemon race. I had that win under my... I had... I pretty much had that win under my belt. I just need everyone else to pit. And no, uh, caution comes out for the brief. I ran over it, too. Just as an insult to injury. And this... That happens. Let him go. I can't. I can't do anything right now. And if I took two tires, I probably wouldn't win this. Unless a caution comes out. Is that, unless I kind of bring up the caution, so I can like you know do something, but I can't. I don't. I'm gonna draft the freaking Jack Spray game. Anyway. This is bad. The car is way too tight to drive right now, I can't believe it. I might as well pit late for like right side tires on the fuel. What extra gas do I have? Okay, um... I don't know exactly how much gas I need, but I'll find out soon enough. As soon as it gets halfway, I can just kind of calculate. I would assume right side of my can though. Uh, now I wish I trans I put transmission on there because then I could try to save fuel while this is going on. And I can't. So screw me. Being stuck in the back the whole race, pretty much. Enjoy it. We have gyros paying already. It's quite a few. It's got a few drivers that are paying right now. Uh, 10 in total, though, so it really wasn't too much. That's unfortunate. I guess all you really need is a can of fuel on right sides, so I can just stay as long as possible. I'm gonna take right sides and fuel. That's right. It's still not enough for fuel, that's interesting. I would love to try to save you right now, but I can't. Got got manual transmission. Screw me. I'll try to try this again later, but right now, so I have to try to Halfway I'm feeling now. Okay, so I've got almost six laps. 
about to put like a lack of light, I guess. And I think I can't do it. So it makes me uh I get I can't try to save fuel unfortunately. Because my stupid old deal is able to try and do just automatic transition. And I transition is so much better, you can't feel my time. Ease off the drive going into a turn while you're saving fuel. It's great. I'm just gonna stay here as long as I can and then get right sides and feel and see what happens. I don't really, I don't even know how far back I am too, but it's pretty far up there. Even if I took right sides and fuel though, I don't think it would help me catch up at all. You know, I might even just take the gamble and go fuel only and see what happens. I, I could check the options like while I'm going in there and have five to pick up. Long way to go. Still like right in too much last place. You know what? Screw you the to tire strategy I'm just gonna go fuel only. I might as well go in right now, but I'm uh, just in the middle of The fuel guys are making a mistake by just taking fuel only, that's gonna really piss me off. Yeah, I can slingshot past someone. Finally. I really don't know. I don't really have much. I'd rather go for fuel only and take the gamble and try to have this right now. Like that. You see that? I still can't. Still can't grab the thing. Well, it doesn't matter. I kinda wish I had brought out a caution now. So I, so I had a chance to just try to save fuel instead. I don't know. It would have been a lot better. Because I can't find. Where I'm supposed to accelerate. I haven't been at the brickyard forever. I have like little knowledge of this track to remember. And the reason I'm not pinning yet is because I don't really want a lot. I don't want any traffic that I'm coming in. So that's kind of my problem that I can't do it. I don't really want too much traffic that I'm coming into the road. I just screwed that kind of big time. I don't get it, I can figure out the line in qualifying, I can't figure it out in, in the actual race, the pressure gets to me. Shut up! I know I have to pick this time or I'm gonna run out down the back. Yeah, that's pretty much the rest of the field, I doubt anyone can keep going right now. So stop is one can of fuel. Just slow down quick enough for Just try trying to save a little trying to save almost ten seconds in time and get me like a top fifteen or something. Wow, I'm still 
still sucking right now. You need a lot slower, and I don't even know if I'll hold on for four laps. Might be time for you to shut up. Ah, damn, I wanted to block him. Oh well, too late for that. I slip up again, awesome. This is how much I suck, especially since I'm starting on the outside, that was really bad too. I slow it down, I still 12. Still 40 seconds, awesome. Finish taking four tires and been done with it. Yep. Rick Yard experience not as good as I want it to. Okay. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to restart and I don't care. We can still restart, great, I'll do it. Oh, I don't need fuel. Just need tires, let's see what happens. Maybe I should adjust the tire pressure should be 15 and yeah, to be a little possible so I can just get going quickly. It's, really ha it's only gonna be like a one lap shootout pretty much, so I don't really care. Uh, I'm just showing that I feel like wow. Well, the race is alright, it doesn't matter. Well, Jeff Gordon wins the Brick Drive 100. And my second to last place finish again. The yellow didn't wave as much as usual. Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. The 83 car would like to have finished a lot better, I'm sure. I hate it for those guys, too. They were so positive about their chances to win this morning, then they just had a bad race. It happens. This is Joe Moore for Barney Hall saying thanks for joining us for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. We'll see you next week at Watkins Glen. There's really nothing I can say about that race, because that was probably... The worst race I've had to try to run, yeah, I haven't been able to run as well. There's that spin up again. Jeff Gore and Wins, as I said, mentioned already. Ricky Perry in second, Dale Hunter in third, Dale's at fourth, Ryan in fifth, Michael Walsh at sixth, Ricky Rudd seventh, Ollie Bonnie eighth, Jim Gaston ninth, and Ward Burn as out the top ten. Mike Skinner is the only one to follow this race on lap two. I'm done. No, we gotta look at the standings. I wish I was done. Uh... I mean, that was really stupid. So, Bobby Bonnie ex has a 246 point lead on Ryan Newman. They have Dale Jr. third. Two four backs, Jeff Gordon fourth, two turn one back, and Jimmy Johnson top five in points, three four four back. They have Mark Martin, Matt Kenzer, Kurt Bush, Bill Elliott, and Tony Stewart right at top ten points, six oh seven back. So I'm now falling, I've fallen to eleven points, six eighteen back. And it's Ricky Craven, Dale Jerry, Kevin Hart, and Ricky Rudd right at top fifteen points, seven thirty back. The next race is at Watkins Glen International. We're running the series at the Glen. I'll see you there.